Guys, it's Theo Bogos here. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Just, I had a baseball tournament and I had to pack, so it took about two weeks to pack and then, uh, like, not two weeks to pack, but a total of two weeks between playing and packing. So it was really hard to get a video out. Um, I sent my 44 pitch glove back. They're fixing the adhesive problem. Um, I or ordered a new glove. I'm not gonna tell you what that is. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's gonna be in about a week or two. And check out uh, Superstar Sports in Florida. I'm not sure, I think it's in West Palm or Boca Raton. Uh, that's where I had my tournament, but I went to the store and checked it out, and I got this glove. They have an amazing baseball store. They have, like, almost every Wilson glove of the month, and they even have the Charlie Brown glove with the Charlie Brown, I think, inside the palm, which is really rare. It's a really nice glove. Only 20 of them were made, and they have it. So uh, let me get into this review. So this is a Pro 200. Um, Pro 200-2. It's 11 and a half. Uh, silver stamping. Navy leather, camel accent, so camel stitching, binding, welting, and laces with the classic red logos. This glove is a store custom, so what they did is uh, Superstar Sports customized this glove and then sells it for retail price. So I got this for two, uh, 280 some, 288 I think, including tax. Um, it has the leather palm pad, which is really nice. Uh, that's why I mainly got this glove because Heart of the Hides is usually thin. I'm used to my E2K, which is pretty thick in the palm. That gives me a lot more padding in the palm. This is the break in. I've had it for like two, three days. I got it. I gained it the day I got it because they pounded it and it made it pretty broken in. I just haven't gotten a form on yet, it yet because I haven't had time to do that. I just gamed it and uh, made a few plays with it, which I really like. Um, so the leather on this glove is really nice because it's a custom. I think it's nicer than stock um, part of the hide leather because it's uh, custom. They take more time to make it and use like the best materials. But this is the best part of the hide leather I've ever felt. The laces are really good. It's just they bend a bit because they get stuck inside the eye web like that and bend, which is a little annoying. So I might trim them. I don't know yet. Um, so the comfortability. This glove is extremely comfortable. The Urtan cowhide. It's a very comfortable liner and molds to your hand um, pretty quickly. Um, it's just a little um, a less softer than the Pretard liner and Pro Preferreds, but it's still extremely comfortable. And within a day or two, it already molded to my hand, which is really nice. Uh, some like the traits or like uh, things on my glove. It has a finger pad, which I really like. Um, the um, I think this is what they call ivory uh, embroidery. I'm not sure. Just let me know. And the uh, silver palm stamping, which I don't think you can get on stock Heart of the Hides. I think you can get the gold, but not the silver. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what the guy told me. Uh, but yeah, this glove is extremely comfortable because um, I don't know if it's because of the custom, but this is the most comfortable Heart of the, heart of the Hide ever put on my hand but uh yeah if you're ever in florida or if you're online and you live in the states look up superstar sports you'll find some really good gloves at some really good prices um so yeah thanks for watching um sorry that this video seemed a little weird or different from usual it's a little rusty it's been like two two and a half weeks since i posted so yeah um i said i would make um part of the high versus pro prefer in the comments so I will get to that now that I have an iWeb Pro Preferred and iWeb um, Heart of the Hide, both the same size. So it's more of a fair comparison than saying a bitching glove. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, see ya.